Yes, yes, weighing in with Raven the Omen Chapman. Raven, um, I think you may have to change your name to Raven the Relentless because <laughs> <laughs> that was that was what you were in the ring. Um, I'm sure obviously you'll watch it back, but straight out of the ring, um, are you happy with what you did in the ring? <clears throat> yeah, I'm happy. Um, good performance, good opponent. She was tough, she was tricky. You know, we knew it was going to be harder not knowing much about her and the little that we had seen of her was that it was going to be hard to catch her clean to the head. So it was going to be constantly doubling everything up, fainting everything just to create, uh, get that, get in, in the right distance and stuff. So. So yeah, I, I felt tired in there, <laughs> so everyone said it's because your work rate was high, so that explains why I felt tired. Um, but yeah, I, a bit frustrated at times, I think, because I felt like I could have done more, but I think um, if you're completely happy, you're never going to go away and improve or learn, so still plenty to take back into the gym and get better for next time. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, you're still fairly early in your career. Um, but you seem to be rubbing shoulders with the top names in women's boxing already. I mean, yeah. not everyone goes Nando's with Amanda <laughs> Serrano. I know, um, pretty crazy. How do you stay level-headed and focused um, on your own route? Um, I'm just me, you know. I, I, I don't really see it like that. I'm just doing something that I love doing and I've got a great team around me that keep me rooted and, you know, they don't allow me to get big-headed because if I ever do, they'll, take the, they'll rip me for it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I've got to keep, keep my feet on the ground and just enjoy the journey, you know. I, I love being with Queensbury and everyone around there as well and just being me, basically. I'm not going to ever be anything else. Raven, speaking of the top, um, earlier today, the quote, uh, Clarissa Shields tweeted, UK girls are scared of her um, and that's why no fight has been made between her and Natasha Jonas. What's your view on that? Um... I don't know, I thought Tasha was up for the fight, I heard that they would do it, I think, you know, if people want to fight the best, they'll fight the best, and, you know, Clarice has proved that she's one of the best up there, and uh, I know Savannah would have the rematch of her, but, you know, whether people think they'll actually beat her, I don't, I don't know, but, um, you know, you've got to big yourself up, haven't you, in this game, and that's how you get people talking about you and getting, getting your name out there, and Clarissa does that very well. 100%. Um, in a couple of months, we'll see an absolute blockbuster of a fight between Katie Taylor and Chantel Cameron. Yeah. How excited are you for that? Yeah, very excited. I'm hoping to get over there and watch it myself because not only is it that fight, two of my good friends are fighting on that card as well with Terry Harper and Ellie Scottney. So, yeah, hopefully I'd like to get over there, show them both support and be able to witness Katie v Chantel. So I think that's going to be one of Katie's hardest fights to date for sure. Um, have you been in the gym with Terry at the moment? Not at the moment. Um, if I was in Doncaster more, then yeah, hoping to get up there. Maybe next week, week after, see everyone, bring the belts and yeah, see how Terry's doing. Um, obviously with her moving up quite a few weights, I'm really small for Terry these <laughs> days. So um, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll get a few move, move rounds in there as well, get her get her ready for, for breakouts. Yeah, I was going to say, she's obviously up against a very experienced um, breakouts. Um, do you think she'll get the job done against her? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt in Terry. I think Breakhouse was a great champion and, you know, great for women's boxing. Um, but now there's a new crop coming through and Terry's right up there. So are you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, women's boxing, like you said, is booming at the minute. Um, I think it's because they're all willing to fight each other. Why do you think the men can't do the same? I think there's just less politics with the women, obviously. I think being there, less... Uh, diverse range you kind of end up having to step up and just taking those big fights um, and in the men's it just doesn't seem to happen as much which is a shame because there's some great fights that could be made if people didn't worry too much about their records and the losses and just just did it you know you still just gonna, got to move it yeah. yeah you're still gonna get good fights afterwards a loss doesn't define you but it's easy to say because no one likes to lose you know if you're an athlete you're a fighter you don't want to lose in there and you go into a fight believing that you can win um, but yeah, I think politics just stops it sometimes. Um, Raven, Frank tweeted uh, not long ago after your fight saying um, to Amanda Serrano that you're coming very, very soon. How soon do you think you'd be in the ring with her? I think a few more fights, get a few more experienced uh, opponents under the belt. You know, that was my second former world champion. There's as some people pointed out, you've got Sarah Marfood, Erica Cruz, both former world champions, losing to Amanda. So they're two good scalps for me that could definitely prepare me for Amanda later in the year, early next year. You never know. Love that. Love that. Listen, finally, 
Uh, you had screaming fans from the start yeah. to the finish. Um, <laughs> what would you like to say to your supporters <laughs> and sponsors? Yeah, I had such great support tonight, you know. Some friends and family that have been with me for since, you know, since I was a kid, you know, a lot of my uh, traveller mates and that come down, their family to me, so just so honoured, overwhelmed and just happy that they're there and they support me and, and uh, yeah, see me through it. You know, it's those times, like I said, when I was tired and I can hear everyone shouting for me, that's like the atmosphere was just crazy, it gave me goosebumps and just made me think about future nights and and even bigger shows and having such a good crowd there with me. So thank you to all my supporters. Thank you to my sponsors, HD Matthews, Core Group, ECW, Elsby Plant Hire, you know, great, great people. Wicked, wicked. Um, congrats once again on your first title defence. Um, thank you for your time and thank you for waiting. Thank you, thank you.